Hey, Go Getter, I'm Angela. And I'm Adam. We help normal moms and dads chase after their big dreams in a modern online world. All while in the midst of raising kids <laughs> in what we call the family hustle. Hey, you guys. So, I am super excited about this live where we're going to be talking about writing a new story. And I think that. You know, the first step is like what we said is like truth be told, you know, we're going to be honest with ourselves and we're going to be honest with the fact that something is holding us back from where we want to go. You know, something is, you know, we're either telling ourselves something, we either lack the confidence that we need, but we're not going to stay there. And so that's what part of this video is about is like truth be told, I am reading it right now. It says I'm holding myself back because blank you can fill in the blank for whatever you know and it can honestly change from season to season like truth be told I'm holding myself back because I'm believing that I'm too busy right now to do this but then you know I see other people who are busier than me who are still uh, growing their business are still doing self-development so obviously that is not the truth you know like there's there's a way that I could rewrite what I'm telling myself and actually um, find time to do this and so find time to improve myself find time to um, you know grow my business inspire others make a difference and so anyways it's the story that you tell yourself is what you're actually gonna believe and so first off we wrote out first off we wrote out um, our belief what we believe is holding ourselves back if you don't know me I'm Angela um, before I got started um, I had a lot of doubts and fears about you know could somebody like me be um, successful in a business like this could I um, could I do network marketing as an introvert how many of you guys are introverts um, could I do um, network marketing as you know a busy stay-at-home mom? I had two little kids at home. Now I have three. Um, could I do network marketing um, whenever I didn't want to do parties and I had no local friends and family? I had moved a thousand miles away from everybody that I knew. Could I do this? And so part of our part of that process is you know confronting your belief. So like my belief was. You know, I am such an introvert. Um, I could never be successful. Um, but if you rewrite that story and you say, I am an introvert, but I know how to connect with people on a deeper level and I value the relationships that I do have so that I can make an impact on so many lives just because I'm a better listener, or just because I'm going to be listening to people. And so you can rewrite the story that you're telling yourself so that it's actually positive. I feel like I bother people. You know, and how many of us have felt that way before? Like you might be following up and, and everything and you're just like, oh gosh, am I bothering people? You know, and I, I certainly don't want to bother people. And so the way that you rewrite that story is that instead of you say, you know, I feel like I'm bothering people, you say, I have so much value to give people they are messaging me. They are hopping on my lives. They are uh, commenting on my posts for more information because I show up and I give so much value that people are chasing me down. So do you see how powerful your, your mind is what's holding you back because you're not doing action because you're talking yourself out of doing action because you're believing things that aren't even true because you know most of the time most of the time I would say um, somebody comments on a picture or watches a video and makes a comment and then they're like send me more information Angela and so then I send information um, I ask a question at the end and then they are interested they're just busy and so that takes me following up with them that takes me um, you know saying hey I'm putting in an order right now do you want me to get yours in they're interested they just need help getting the order in so you're you're not bothering them because they do want to get results and I'm gonna tell you guys that's one of the reasons why what we are doing is so powerful is that people want results that's what they want they want to have more energy they want to feel better they want to get results and you know look amazing on their vacation so that they have confidence and they're not hiding in the pictures but to actually like do something usually takes a little bit of following up because people it's you know like that you talk about like 
oh, I need to eat healthier. Oh, I need to go to the gym. But what's actually going to make you make that change is whenever you, you know, have somebody who's reminding you, hey, weren't you interested in, uh, you know, getting a uh, or losing 10 pounds for your vacation. You know, I might not say it like that, but reminding you that is what you want. Are you ready to do that? And so you're not bothering people. You are helping them make a change that they wanted to make. And so change your story. And so part of what I want you to do today, especially if you commented on that post already, think about what are your limiting thoughts? What is holding you back? And how can you rewrite that story? And I want you to, Adam calls it this negativity filter. If you have any sort of negative thoughts that come into your brain, come into your mind, you have to filter that, that thought and you're gonna rewrite it and then that's what you're gonna speak. And you have to tell yourself multiple times a day because it's not gonna come the first time. So let me grab another one. Okay, so Tiffany says she, Truth be told, she's holding herself back because she feels overwhelmed. And how many of us have ever felt overwhelmed? Like there's, you know, kids are going on, school's about to start back, you know, and like you want to, you want to make an impact, you want to follow up, you want to do all this kinds of stuff, but you're just like, where do I, where do I start? And then you end up not doing anything because you feel overwhelmed. And so um, I'm going to do a little uh, visual in just a second, but the number one thing I would say is baby steps. Say, I can't do everything, but I can do this. I can't do everything, but I can make one really good post today, and that's what I'm gonna do. I can't do everything, but I can make one live video this week and show up and be awesome and amaze everybody, and so that's what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm gonna do something every single day because consistency is what matters. Honestly, consistency, I always say this, it's not sexy, but it works. And so whenever we feel overwhelmed, or at least this is me, if I feel overwhelmed, then I don't do anything because I'm just like, ah, there's so much stuff going on and I don't do anything. But if I can change my thought process and say, I can do this, then A, that gives me confidence because I actually did something. And there's a, this inertia thing because once you do one thing and you can do another thing and then you can do another thing and then you realize, oh my gosh, I did everything on my six list. And if you don't know what a six list is, it's like, you know, the most important things you need to do that day. And so before you go to bed at night, you can write down, um, I need to follow up with this person. I need to make a live video or a post about this. Um, I need to use my products. I need to do X. And so a six list is a way to prioritize what needs to get done every single day. And so that way, A, for me, I'm a list person. And so I like to see things and like I could check them off as I do it. And that can help with that overwhelming, you know, feeling. And that's another thing that you could say is like, I can't do everything, but I can do the six things on my list. I can do something every single day. So change your story. Um, a fear of like putting yourself out there. And I would say that probably comes from like, you don't want to be, cause I, I can relate to this. You don't want to be vulnerable and then have people use that against you. Like to talk bad about you or to make fun of you or, you know, to put you down because you opened up and you were vulnerable and then they didn't respect that. And so then you're hurt, you know, because you, you know, you opened up and then you got squashed. But if you can change that, and you say, I am an authentic, uh, I'm just going to say an authentic uh, influencer. I'm an authentic uh, business owner. And so I am going to inspire others who felt just like me by being open and honest and show that I'm a real person. I don't have to be perfect. Um, you know, I didn't, I uh, didn't curl my hair today. You know, this is natural curls for me, you know, uh, day old hair. Um, this is, uh, what is it? Uh, dry shampoo day. Um, I can be authentic. I can be who I really am. I don't have to show up and be perfect because being perfect is overrated and people are so over that they want to see the real you. And that is what people want. And so change your script by saying, I have a fear of being vulnerable. That is, I am vulnerable because I'm authentic and I want to inspire people who want to hear that they can they can have hope they can do this too they can make a change even though they're struggling okay so change your story it gives you power it gives you confidence 
and you are going to show up. So like I said, especially for me, when I first got started, you know, I'm an introvert. I don't like talking to people. This has been a five year journey for me, you know, so you might be saying like, oh gosh, Angela, I hear this a lot and it's so surprising, but they're like, oh gosh, I would have never thought you were an introvert because they see me on video, but that's not who I am in real life. I feel like, um, like meeting a new person. Like I feel like I'm in my element cause I have value to share and I feel confident in that. But like if I meet a new person, I'm such I'm such an introvert and I and so that was something that especially five years ago when I first got started, I just knew, you know, I I couldn't even talk in um whenever I was in school. You know, I didn't want to talk, I didn't want to answer the questions even though I knew the answer, and it was a lot of that confidence because I had I I was picked on as a kid um, and I just didn't want to be vulnerable back to what Darla said. I didn't want to speak up because I um I had gotten picked on before and I just didn't want to get hurt. So I was protecting myself and I, I withdrew from meeting people because I didn't want to be hurt by people. And so I'm going to change that story. I'm going to change that fear and make it, like I said, I can ch change it about being an introvert, but I can also change it about being vulnerable and having confidence and opening up by saying, you know, that my story matters. And if I don't share my story, then I am, I'm not helping the people that I should be helping. Like I am here to make a difference. I'm here to make an impact. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to share my story. And so I'm going to share that as an introvert, I have, um, as an introvert, I have a message that should be shared and you have a message that should be shared. And so I'm going to inspire people to share their message and, I'm going to do that by sharing my message and it takes baby steps. It's just like, you know, um, my, my girls are, well, at least my oldest girl is scared of riding, um, roller coasters. And so, you know, whenever we go to a theme park or something like that, she is, she's terrified of riding roller coasters. Now I kind of relate cause I'm kind of scared of roller coasters too, but I, we rode a little roller coaster together. She, she cried. She screamed the whole time. It was horrible. But what I wanted to tell her was I was so proud of her for getting on the getting on the ride, you know, and I told her that part of moving past your fears is facing your fears and facing them in small amounts, you know, not jumping off a cliff, you know, skydiving, but facing your fear in small amounts is how you kind of develop a little bit of a thicker skin and you can overcome your fear. So if you're scared of going live, then I would say just start by making videos and not go live and just record them, pre-record them. Or, you know, the first videos that I made, I didn't even show my face. Like, especially if you're talking about like how you make keto coffee or something like that, you show your cup and you don't even show your face. And so baby steps help you move towards your fear so that you realize, wow, that wasn't even that scary. Like I can totally do this again. And then you do it again and you do it again. And the consistency helps. Then I feel like a lot of what struggles we have, it starts with our mindset. And so I want you guys to take the daily affirmation challenge and to start changing your thoughts when you wake up, like, and you can put it on your mirror and you can see it ar like around, but change your thoughts, you change your life. So I wanna hear what your new story that you're gonna write is. You can put it in the comments. And, um, and then I will also upload that um, daily affirmation that you can save, you can print it out, and you can read it every single morning and change your thoughts every single day. Thanks for listening to The Family Hustle with Angela and Adam Parker. We appreciate you guys being here. If you're listening, don't forget to take a screenshot and share it into your stories and tag us at Grassfed Mama. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review on your podcast player of choice. That helps other people find out about what we're doing, and it's the best thing you can do to help us grow the podcast.